for Gary Babbitt, retirement was never the end of the road. It's therapeutic to me. But the start of a new one. I do miss it. I do miss the drivers out there. He spent more than four decades driving a truck, a Texas and National Driver of the Year. 5.4 million without an accident. Miles? Miles. And trucking has come as far as Gary has gone. Autonomy is absolutely here. We are at an Aurora terminal in Palmer, Texas, 30 miles from Dallas. Osa Fisher is president. I tell them I work on self-driving trucks. And their first reaction is? Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> Aurora's plan is to be full self-driving by the end of 2024. Engage. Lacaro and Luke are giving us a ride along. Uh, I'm basically in teaching mode. A longtime driver and an operations specialist are training the Aurora driver teaching it how to behave, how to drive defensively. We're driving autonomous loads every day on Texas highways. 75 commercial loads a week. Aurora has mapped out Dallas to Houston and back, and Fort Worth to El Paso and back. Aurora says these rides are about satisfying their internal safety standards. That truck is already reacting to something that I can't even see out there that's occurring. John Esparza is president of the Texas Trucking Association. We cannot keep pace with the amount of freight that's coming through our state. Close to 20% of the nation's freight drives through Texas. That and truck friendly laws are the reason Aurora and other autonomous companies are here in the Lone Star State. Rarely do I have to uh, take over. Lacaro has his fingers inches from the wheel, his foot near the pedal just in case. It's the Aurora driver driving, even changing lanes to avoid merging traffic. We can see a near 360 degree view of the world. Equipped with long range LIDAR, radar and cameras, Aurora says their trucks can see four football fields in advance. That's nine to 11 seconds faster than a human. Gary is receptive to that technology. He consults now, even does some safety training. He says he's done the research and thinks autonomous trucks are a necessary supplement to a crippling shortage of drivers. It's all about safety and saving lives. Sure, you're gonna have your doubters. Critics who worry about technology hacking, about safety. Autonomy is so far unproven in cold climates, but Osa says be patient. It's a process. We have stayed away from ice and snow, um, but that is definitely part of the plan to bring that into the fold. Aurora's rollout is planned for the Sunbelt states from coast to coast. Autonomy is also mostly relegated to hub to hub deliveries for now, where the human driver takes the load to its final destinations. It is both revolutionary and evolutionary. You're going to see more opportunity for those drivers to be home at night. Gary has made more than 4,000 of these crosses. He hands them out to his fellow drivers of faith. It's a reminder that none of us should ever doubt our worth. Trucks keep America moving forward. Self-driving is already here, and it may take some faith to recognize we all have to share the road. In Palmer, I'm Jobin Pointer.